and then uh, one of the things that you should know is this uh, Anjali bottle. She is actually going to do one thing that we are going to honor uh, with all the distinguished guests. I can you sit down and sit here, please? So w where we do it here, we actually have a piece of cloth. It looks like cloth, but it is a hand weaving cloth. Uh, cloth. It's a piece of handicraft from a thumb. You see it on the long thing, and this is done. Um, when you're here for the ceremony and the celebration, just feel free to take part in the walking trails. We have cricket pitch here, ball field, play area, and um, please take advantage of uh, what we have here. We're very proud of it in Bridgewater, and um, we wish for people to come and uh, participate. A uh, gentleman told me many years ago that a stranger is simply somebody that is not yet your friend. And through this whole project, I have started meeting strangers and now have many friends, so welcome friends. Um, as we worked our way through the organization and planning, we learned a lot from each other, and we learned that we had a lot in common. And we worked on those elements to put together this program. And through this program, I was told the story in one of our breaks by uh, Mr. Neera Chandri about Jadev Tayyip and um, the fact that when the elephants came back to the River Island and they were able to reestablish on that River Island, that the elephants, in his words, and to start the conversation, uh, do you know elephants don't like walls? And I was not aware of this. And uh, so when the elephants came back, and shoots program we have at Hillside Intermediate School is to take the classroom outside of the walls and to work with that outdoor classroom and that amphitheater and to let the students see what's going on in the environment and our natural resources. So again we have a common element between getting outside and breaking down those walls and getting involved in what should be environmentally friendly and sustainable. So with that, I would like the opportunity to bring forward Maria Hayes for our continued presentation.
Good morning. It is, it is a beautiful day, and I'd like to welcome you to Bridgewater. It is my honor to be the host to the host community for this event. We have several special guests. It is also my privilege to introduce them. I'm going to use a cheat sheet, so I apologize, and I hope I don't miss anyone. Uh, among the distinguished guests here today are, is Shambhu Atiba, who is the Indian Vice Consulate. Thank you for coming. Also here today is, Commission, is Kupenda Shivakula, who is the Commissioner of Public Utilities, former Assemblyman. We have with us freeholder Patrick Scaglione. I, I did see freeholder uh, Patricia Walsh. We have two members of the Bridgewater Township Council. We have Christine Henderson Rose and Matthew Mensch. Is I didn't see, uh, on the list, I didn't see uh, Carrie Sargent. Is Carrie Sargent here yet? Okay, Carrie Sargent is from the uh, Regional Forester's Office. She's not arrived yet. And I didn't see Joseph Azus. Is he here? Joseph is here, sorry. Joseph, welcome. Joseph is with Barrett Associates. He is an ar he's our arborist. And Naren Navi who is the Plainsboro Councilman, not here today, thank you. But before I begin, I just want to ask if the Vice Council would like to say a few words uh, to our community. Vice Council, come on. Thousands of miles away. I will like uh, add one more thing. Uh, in breath of research, there are many slokas, one, one only I will like to do. Sarve Bhavantu Sarve Bhavantu Sarve Miramaya. It means all people be happy and all people should be Mr. Yadav Payeng, we should also remember one of our pioneers who also belongs to northeastern part of India, Mr. Bose, Jagdish Chandra Bose, who has for the first time informed all of us that plants are living things, they are not dead bodies. Living like us, living beings like us. And uh, remembering our people in America gives us opportunity to connect ancient world with the modern world, which we know as America. And uh, it will certainly help not only connecting the people of India and America, but it is going to be a global phenomenon. As UN uh, GA this uh, year has declared, this is a climate, they have discussed on climate issues. And India is uh, willingly accepted this challenge and uh, has accepted that 
India is going to reduce its carbon emission. And uh, let's thank you all here. And uh, I am very grateful. Commissioner Chivapula would like to say a few words. Please. Thank you, Mayor. Good morning, everybody. Distinguished guests. Uh, it's indeed an honor and privilege to join you here today. Uh, Inside School are doing a fantastic job in Roots and Shoots program. And uh, so I'm going to talk to One of the things we care about is the vegetation management. Make sure that you plant the trees in the right, pla right places and make sure they are native. We don't want to put the things that don't belong to that uh, area. And it is also important that uh, the state law is that we have to reduce the uh, uh, global warming solution and uh, we have uh, uh, targets of reducing carbon and other greenhouse gases uh, by 20% by 2020. And uh, trees are going to be a big uh, help for that. And uh, uh, Jadav Piang has realized that and he has really a one-man show. Dale Carnegie said that uh, what you can do is limited, but what you can have uh, others do is unlimited. But in this case, uh, Jadav said, I will do it myself. So he has uh, single-handedly planted 1,400 acres of land and in the River Island, and uh, I just wanted to uh, hats off to him. I don't have a hat, but hats off to him great job he has done and uh, Assam is a very important state in uh, in India and we have one of the most cherished rainforests in India in Assam where you have 400 inches of rain in a year it's fantastic and uh, so Assam is also uh, is known for uh, tea and uh, today we are going to plant the tree and drink Assam tea thank you thank you When Neary uh, came to our office with the idea for this program, it was easy to say yes. It was easy to say yes because it fits with our vision. At Town Hall, we have a vision of Bridgewater as an exemplar community, a community that leads. And no community can be a leading community if we do not cherish our environment. And we do, we do. We value our parks, we value our open space, recently added 10 acres to our open space. We're here today in the backdrop of a beautiful park that our community uses, and we are recognized for our efforts. We are recognized statewide as a tree city. We are recognized as a sustainable community in New Jersey. And we are no strangers to the global stage. We have, we have participated in the Roots and Shoots program in Hillsboro, which has been amazingly successful. And that is a program that is global under the direction of Jane Goodall. So it is not surprising that we would say yes. It is not surprising that we today step forward and, be, and connect ourselves with another global effort of John F. Peng. It is not surprising because we are a community that knows there can be no global if there is no local. And we are a community that stands together and recognizes good effort from wherever they begin. It is also, for me, very fitting that we are doing this ceremony with the planting of a tree. Not only is a tree certainly directly connected